flow for this problem, uh, we've got a sled with a weight of 30 pounds. Uh, it's being pulled up a 25 degree incline as shown uh, with a pulling force that is parallel to the slope there. Um, so if we know the static coefficient of friction is 0.4, the kinetic coefficient of friction is 0.3, we're asked to determine what is the pulling force required to keep this sled moving at a constant rate. Um, so to solve this, the first thing we want to do is go ahead and draw a free body diagram of our sled. So our sled is kind of sitting like this. It's, the whole thing is at a 25 degree angle. Uh, I've got the pulling force on the front over here. It says F pull. Um, I've got the weight force. I know it's 30 pounds. Uh, and I'm going to have two other forces. So I'm going to have a normal force it's perpendicular to the contact between the sled and the ground. So this is my normal force. And I'm going to have a friction force that's opposing motion. So this thing is being pulled uphill. So the friction force is going to be resisting that. It's going to be pointing downhill. So this is my free body diagram. Uh, I know that um, my sled's at a 25 degree angle. Actually, to make this whole problem easier, I'm going to redefine my axis. So it's not going to be straight up and down. The x direction is going to be out this way. And the y direction goes up in this direction here. Uh, so with that, I can kind of uh, reduce the number of angles I have. Um, so, go out like this. This angle right here is going to be the same as the slope of my incline. This is going to be 25 degrees right there. So with this, um, this thing is going at a constant rate. Uh, so I know that my um, sled is in equilibrium. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write out the equilibrium equations uh, for this system. So I do sum of forces in the x. And I'm going to do sum of forces in the y. I'm not going to deal with the moments for this particular problem. So sum of forces in the x uh, says that I've got negative f pull. So it's this force right here. Um, I've got the friction force is in the positive x direction. Uh, and I've got a component of this. Um, so it's going to be this component over here. So it's going to be plus. 30 times the sine of 25 is the, the x component of this vector right here. So that sum of forces is going to be equal to 0. I've got the sum of forces in the y. Um, that is going to be equal to um, the normal force, so Fn, minus the y component of my 30 pound force. So minus 30 times the cosine of 25. And that's going to be equal to 0. Uh, and I've got one more equation that's going to relate these two. So I know that this sled is sliding uphill. Um, so actually, my friction force, if they're sliding that's occurring, is going to be equal to um, the kinetic coefficient of friction. Or sorry, yeah, kinetic coefficient of friction times the normal force. So this kinetic coefficient of friction was given to me in the problem uh, between the sled and the icy um, slope. I've got a kinetic co coefficient of friction of 0.3. And so that lets me, up here, instead of the friction force, I can just kind of rewrite this. This is going to be 0.3 times Fn. And that's kind of all of this bottom equation is useful for. <coughs> so now I need to solve for this pulling force. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, but to do that, I need to figure out the normal force. So Fn, based on my sum of forces in the y equation, is going to be equal to 30 times the cosine of 25 degrees. 
And that whole thing, um, 30 cosine 25, gives me about 27.19 pounds. And so now I can go up here, plug that in. So F pull is going to be equal to 0.3 times my normal force. plus 30 times sine 25. So this is the component of my gravity force. And so when I pull this uphill, I'm fighting not only the friction force, but also the gravity force pulling this up. Um, and so <clears throat> that's going to be my pulling force. These are all numbers. If I plug all this in, I should get F pull is equal to 20.84 pounds. And so that is the force that's required to keep this sled moving uphill at a constant rate. Uh, so with that, we've solved our problem. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.